boarding another plane. Um, this time I'm flying solo to Chicago. Uh, I'm actually going to Chicago for, it's like 48 hours, maybe less. Uh, see, my mom's retiring and she is having a retirement party this weekend. And she asked me if I would be able to make it all the way back when they planned it. And I said, I didn't know because I didn't know how much flights were gonna be. We we're getting ready to buy a house. And well, I just didn't know if we were gonna be able to make it. But I found some great flight prices. So I'm flying to Chicago to actually surprise her. Uh, she has no idea that I am on my way. She has no idea that I'm coming to Chicago. Um, I haven't talked to her in a few weeks. So the surprise should still be intact. So yeah, so I'm boarding a flight to Chicago. I get in today, uh, later today, Friday, and I leave on Sunday afternoon. And yeah, so let's, uh, let's get on this plane and settle in for a nine hour flight to Chicago. back home in Chicago it is it is cold I can already tell it's cold I'm not exactly prepared for the cold but uh, it is nonetheless good to be back I've got to go through uh, customs now so I need to kind of turn off the camera Looks like it's going to be kind of like a double surprise type Saturday. See, my best friend lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which is about an hour and a half north of Chicago. We don't get to see each other very often anymore because she lives here and we live in Amsterdam and lives have gotten busy and we haven't been able to take as many adventures around the world as we usually do. Well, I wanted to try to get up to Milwaukee to surprise her, but yesterday was Valentine's Day and today's my mom's retirement party and I just didn't know how it was going to work. But with the help of her friends, including her boyfriend, we figured out that she was filming or recording a radio show about 30 minutes from where I'm staying in Chicago. So I jumped in the car and I headed out here. They went on the air about a minute ago so yeah i'm here we're going to wait until she's done with the radio show and i'm going to walk in and surprise her she has no clue at all that i'm here so uh let's uh let's go catch her reaction what are you doing uh, here? The I'm the my best friend. You know, you know him. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> too many hoods. Hi. No! <laughs> Where are you at? Where am I at? I'm in Elmhurst. Why? Because I wanted to see you. Yes. Where are you at? Your face. <laughs> that was great. I really enjoyed being able to uh, surprise Bree, and I really enjoyed being able to hang out with her. Uh, even went as far as hanging out in line for some sneaker pop-up store, which was cool, but the, the point of all of it was I got to hang out with a friend that I don't get to see as much as I would like to or as we wish we could and yeah it was great. It was really awesome to be able to spend some time with Bree and catch up and laugh and joke and try to plan some trips and some other stuff in the future. So now is time to hop in the car and go to the surprise for the reason for being here. So I am going to put the camera down because the sidewalks are icy and get in the car and try to get to my mom's party as quickly as I can.
party is in is not on the map. So um, I guess I gotta just walk around campus and try to figure out where the party's at. But I'm here and trying to find, trying to find my mom now. So uh, let's uh, hunt her down and see how surprised she is. That was a successful, uh, successful, very successful surprise. Uh, my mom thoroughly loved it. It was awesome to see how happy she was that I was able to make it. And I am grateful that I had the opportunity to come and surprise and share her retirement party dinner with her and her friends and colleagues and see everybody that was there. Um, Mom, I hope you had a great night, and I hope I get to surprise you again sometime soon. But for now, the night is over for me, I think. I'm back at my aunt's house where I'm staying. I might still sneak out to go meet with some friends, but I'm pretty tired, so I probably won't. But either way, I think this will be a wrap for tonight. Hey, how's it going, Mom? Revolution Brewery here is uh, literally like four blocks from the house that I grew up in. It was an abandoned warehouse and factory for years and years and years. Well, now it's a tap room for a brewery that has uh, kind of become one of my favorite breweries of Chicago. So every time we come in, we try to swing by the tap room to see what they've got on tap. Uh, today, I am uh, swinging by on my way to the airport which kind of means that uh, the trip here to Chicago is coming to an end. I'm waiting on my Uber now. It's gonna get me to the airport. I hop a plane in about two hours to head back to Amsterdam. But I'm glad that I had a chance to swing by and uh, have some local beer. So uh, let, me, let, me, let me pay attention for my Uber. How's it going? Man, thank you so much. So I'm at the airport. I think that's going to be a wrap for Chicago. It's been simply an amazing, amazing trip. I got to surprise my mom and seeing how happy she was that I was able to make it made every bit of this trip worth it. I got to surprise a great friend, Brian. I loved seeing you. I loved hanging out with you. I wish we could do it more often. But that's it. That's I, family time, fun, laughs. And now I got to board a flight to get back to Amsterdam so I can get back to work tomorrow. So until the next time, bye Chicago. Uh, so no good deed goes unpunished. Uh, my flight got canceled. So I'm at O'Hare right now. My flight was supposed to take off two hours ago. Um, I am now waiting to figure out where I'm sleeping tonight. Obviously I have family here so I can go back to them, but if they're gonna put me up in a nice hotel, I'm gonna take a nice hotel. So now I sit and wait and figure out what happens from here. So the vlog that was gonna end two hours ago is gonna continue. So uh, let's wait. So um, this is where I'm at for the night. Uh, they put me up in a Hyatt. Um, yeah, I, uh, I got some dinner vouchers reached out to an old high school buddy of mine. He's gonna try to come and meet me at the bar. My cousin's coming down with her boyfriend. So yeah, what can you say? I mean, it sucks that I don't get to fly home tonight, but I get to 
spend some time with some people that I didn't get a chance to see otherwise. So right now it is 7.30 and I just realized that I have not eaten since breakfast this morning at 10. So I'm really hungry. I am going to head down to the restaurant, grab a bite to eat, and then meet up with everybody. So uh, I really thought this vlog was over. I, honest to God, when, when I signed off at O'Hare, I thought that was it. I thought that was gonna be a wrap for the Chicago vlog, but shit happens. Let's keep it going.